Zero, zero, race to seven. BJ set the break. I understand both of these players play real well. Yes, they do. Watch the seven ball. Everybody's been making that wing ball. Right in the pocket. And the one is dressing. Oh, oh until that wall ball leaked Not in anymore. Look at that nine. Six, nine is bad, too. I've, ne I've never played BJ, but I've played Clint several times. Uh -huh. Do you push up to the upper left-hand corner towards the short rail? And just let them see a, a nip of that one ball, or do you just go banking a cue ball? You know, you know what I would cushion. Do you know what I would push here? Upper left hand corner. Oh, he's gonna push him far. I would in. tie up the two eight, leave he's him gonna, that one ball. He's gonna jack him up over the six nine. Five. He's gonna break the six nine up, leave the cue ball there, where you can have a shot rail first. Oh, oh. Like you're do, right? See, I'm thinking normally when you push, you want to tie something up. Oh, he's leaving it. He's okay. Leave him on the roof. It's already tied up. So. Oh, you're getting that back. Well, now he's got the combination of 6-9 on that side. Yeah, this is risky. Right, yeah, you're right. This is real risky. He did disturb that enough to make it dead. You got to get that back on the roof like that, I think. Although, there's a rail first, though, right? You like yeah. the rail first here? Yes, absolutely. I do, too. Rail first. So it makes it a little bit easier. Yeah. The rail first shot is there, but he's got to watch the cue ball he's going past exactly. the three. But I'll tell you what, if he can get under that three and come around, he'll have that on it. Oh, he did have it. Look at that. Now watch the position here. He got. It. Oh man, this is going to be interesting. I like this already. Oh, he's going to have to. He's going to have to bring the stroke out here. Ah, he might even get a two for him. Play the six ball here. No, I like going to the rail and then bringing the cue ball back to the long rail on the right. He had to. Ooh. He tried it, Joe. He tried yeah. your shot. Yeah. And he tied up the five. And hung up the two. <laughs> yeah, but you can't break up the five here because yeah. the three's way up top. Correct. Yeah, this is going to be interesting. This is just ugly. <laughs> We hope you guys are enjoying this as much as we are here on premises. Susan McKenzie says, uh, Suzanne McKenzie, sorry, says, very good players. Yeah, this is a real mess right here. Guys, if you can share it, we got 52 shares up there. Let's keep rolling it. And, and if you can share it and put their names in and tag these players, watch the cue ball. Yo, 11. Well, he got the angle. <laughs> yeah. Horn high yo. Oh, that's the four up there. Got it. Yeah, this is kind of... Try and break this five out here, you think? You're, you're what do you think, it, Ed? You're sending it that way anyway. Yeah. Wow, he was trying to break it up and missed it. Oh, that's going to be costly. Look at the 6-9 with the five lane right there. Yep. Unless it's not dead. If that nine's off the rail a little bit more than the six, it'll be a tough combination. Yeah, you got to get that nestle that cue ball behind him, and that's a hard yeah. play. All right, I'm going to leave you two. I got to go stretch my back for a little bit. All right. We should have stretch my back. Can you take that guy to your left with you? <laughs> All right. Real funny, huh? All right, Mister, be good. He, thanks, you thanks know what? It. He can actually draw this Eddie right here with some right hand English and feather the nine ball, and then play yeah, the five. He didn't want to get. Right. He, he didn't want to run into it. traffic. He has Where's to go Alex? into this now. Na Alex, there. No. He has to go into this now. Yeah. And now he's going to nestle the cue ball behind a nine. He's got a good bank here. Safety allowed. Well, I don't know. You know close, do you, he's close to his work. Do you, do you want to bet a couple of racks on this? Yes. Yeah, just okay. a, a small table like this. It's, you know, you're, you're, he's real close. Yeah, I think that's the Or you the could shot. do that. Yeah, <laughs> no. I think that's the shot. It probably was. You're talking about a tournament with a, a lot of Calcutta, a big one. Well, well, a lot of money here, listen, too. Listen, you, you know, un, as far as the audience is concerned and the people here, these are two good players. This so guy, why, why, you know, why go for the bank when you can easily play a safe and give yourself at least another chance? Well, the only reason I saw the bank because he would have fell on the eight perfect playing it. You In know? your eyes. Yeah, minus. But you went for $20 in Calcutta. These that, guys uh, went you, for like 800 Well, that, that's because they're suckers that bought them. That's wow, not my missed fault. it. How do you like it now? He gave it up. Okay, so... Yeah. Uh, Little respect there. That's three. Okay, so although in a tournament, giving up three balls like that, this that's Clint Clock goes up one, right? There we go. Yes, yes. One nothing, Clint. Racing the seven. Smoke pit is the best. I tell you. Maybe we'll go there. Uh, well, you don't know when you're getting out of here. If 
fella? He ain't used that line on you in a while. You follow? That's a good thing. I don't think. All right, now, this is pretty interesting. I break it from the opposite side of the table. That right side's been working. Yeah, he just switched up, and he come up blank on that wing ball. Well, he didn't switch up. It's Ooh, alternate break. Look at the billiard on the nine here. No. Yes, I believe so. You draw off that one. You're going to make that nine. I think he's playing the one ball. Take it easy there. Not a chance. Sparky. I'm playing this nine right here. I'm drawing off it. Oh, maybe not. Never mind. Not from that angle. Take it easy, Sparky. <laughs> you had a different angle before. I seen it. Am I that, right? <laughs> I saw it at the billiard. Look, the guy behind me seen it. You don't know how to play. I saw the billiard wasn't on from this angle. They don't even like you here. We got this. That'll work. That was nicely hit, huh? That'll work. If he can get straight on this three, he could draw up for the four. Just on that shot alone, change the whole perspective of this rack. He's not Perfect. as straight as he wants to be. He's okay. Yeah. He can draw a back plate in the bottom left-hand corner. I think he's got to draw this up to the top rail, maybe. Because he's I got think that much of an angle. I have to send you back to the hole. Or, or they draw, let you out on the weekend. Or draw only. it off the five. Yeah, he came off the five that yeah, little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was odd. All the way to the rail, huh? He had that nice. Yeah, he's playing great. I mean, these guys are true champions. That six is a half a pocket. I don't know. I'm, I, I, it looks like it might go all the way. Six goes. It's got three quarters of a pocket, more than three quarters. You think? Yeah, he should be already. Right he is all right. He's more than all right. Ties it up. And he's got the break. Games are real fast on these little tables. Well, you know, seven foot tables. Mm -hmm. You see Jesus and Tenzio on the table next to this one. Used to do a lot of road traveling with uh, Jalal, who passed away. Most of these guys are solid shots. I think AJ has this the is seven. the entire tournament. Got a tough one ball here. Of course. Thank you. No, he might have to send this one back straight across and try and hide behind that four here. That's the second time Joe Malagi, actually, if there's a player's list. Uh, become friends with uh, Herman Parker on Facebook. Uh, he's gonna, he's got the brackets and everything. He's gonna post up, if he didn't post them up already. Yeah, look where he wants to put the one on the middle diamond. Maybe hide under that four. He's in a tough spot. Wow. All right, Herman Parker just tapped me on the shoulder. He's going to put him on his personal Facebook page. There goes your answer, Joe. Guys, uh, there's a, like a $2,100 queue going up for raffle right now. One of the uh, dance. Want to dance? Want to Dan Heidrich's cue? Oh, okay. Beautiful cue. He's talking to Dan before. He's doing nice work. He makes about four cues a month. He said, "Real happy." Four cues every two months. Two cues a uh, month. Oh, two cues. Gonna end up with a combo here. Table number four, Montez Boyd. Thank you, 
Don't get on the roof. I think he knows better than that. All right, this is BJ right now, right at the table? Yes, sir. Two to one. Dan's Q shoot amazing too. He is really talented. Yeah, I know Dan a long time, even when he used to live up there in uh, Rochester, upstate New York. <coughs> I'm really surprised that, oh, Clint found that speed. Six ball flew in. Eight ball went in the other corner, in the bottom right-hand corner. The only problem he's got, there's no shot on the one unless you want to play out safe. an easy five ball billiard well it's not an easy but left him a billiard but then he's going to be stuck in there sending the one up here so he's got to control the one on this shot if he plays that if he could stop the one on the nine yeah, he's still got a lot of work here he may make the five but it's because uh, if he could stop the one on that he's got a one railer here What are you talking about? Bending the cue ball, hitting it with a little reverse? Tender, yeah. You think he hold that? Yeah, maybe he could hold that. I don't know. He's got to go below the side pocket. He's, yeah. He's looking for other options. Definitely going to shoot the shot that he feels comfortable with. Right? He's kind of eyeballing this better than playing the... Uh, the one wheeler up and down? Well, you can play the reverse English on the cue ball, but, you know, these diamond tables, the cue ball slides, and he could come wide. I was looking to you see know. if he's got a two-reeler to come down this way, the lower right-hand corner way. A two-reeler this I way. I really don't like that either. No, he's going to do the one-reeler. He's going to try to hold it. Yeah, ball. hold it. See if he can hit it. Yeah, he don't like it. He's going to have to compensate for the angle with a little reverse English. And that English don't have to take. You know, the, the cue ball can slide right off the rail and go wide. Oh, he tried to try tie up the nine eight. I guess you see your colors different. I, I don't know. I, I can't take this guy in the booth no more. Troy, yeah. you got to fly up. It's a four far. ball. Uh, nine four. I'm sorry. Yeah, if he could have put that nine down, I'll leave that on the four ball. He would have took it away. Just back, back to the table. Jersey in a box. You need Maybe to calm down, boxes. Sparky. Okay. Maybe two boxes. Ooh. Needs an angle here. You got it. He's got some work here. He can go on top of the short side. I if like he wants. going forward on this. I don't like flirting with him underneath this time, but to each his own. Oh, oh boy. He didn't spend a lot of time on it. Look at it. Look how he left him. I kind of like, you know, going forward and playing the short side of that four. For one reason, it's off the rail. Yes. You know, and then float down for the And seven. if you mess it up, you always have the safe. But who am I to criticize anybody? I'm Chalky nobody. sticks up on the board there. Chalky sticks. Nice What's app. Up, Tom? Tom's in the house. That's a good app. Any of you folks don't, do not have that Chalky sticks app, you should get it. It'll save you when you're out of town. If you're looking for a place. Straight. Shoots. Real straight. BJ takes it down. Three to one now. I 
Oh, I put 23. 23 to one. Yeah. It's a long set. Nothing wrong with <laughs> Nothing wrong with 23 to one. A little extension. Just seen Asensio's break. He made three balls on the break over there. The next table over. Tip your host. Not me, folks. I just ask whatever you guys can do for the links at the top of your screen. Uh, if you can help out, please do. He almost got kicked in. Looks like he's got a billiard on the 2-5. Yeah, and then he'll play the 2 on this lower right-hand corner here, up here. Pamela Reed down, sure. Um, I'm going to have to do a little bit of footwork. I'll get it for you. Maybe I'll take a picture of the business card. I should do that. It's nice of them to come by. All right. BJ is going to shoot this three ball here. And then he's going to be going up and down a couple of times here. Yes. Oh. So before BJ shoots this four ball, I just want to say hello to my wife, Jen, that's home and she's watching this. Hi, Jen. As well as my daughters, Emily and Lena, who I'm sure they're missing daddy right now. And. Thank you for allowing me to come down here and have let, the time to... Letting you out of the house. Yep, let me out of the house and <laughs> come down and help out for this memorial. So I miss you all, and I'll see everybody soon. It's game, now. Okay, Clint's racking here. Four to one? Is it, it should four be to four to one right now. Yeah, four to one. There BJ we go. has four. Clint is racking, and this is Clint's break. You know, this alternate break on these little tables is ideal because it could get away from you in a hurry. You know? yeah, yeah, you're playing one of these guys. Yeah. They could string four oh, racks sure, easily. Yeah, sure. In, 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 look at this in like four minutes. Uh, it could go quick. Oh, well, here's a nice layout. The three goes in that side. He makes this two ball. It's almost stop, stop, stop. Look at that. Yeah. This is a real nice layout here. Oh, he's good right here. Look at this. Yes. You'd want this for the rest of your life. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Just draw this back a touch. Yeah. And he's out. Pretty much stop shot the whole way through. Yeah. Well, he let that go. I'm surprised. He, had, he didn't like that three in the side. Had a lot of confidence coming around that, between that four and five there. It was a nice shot. Play this one rail up. He threw some inside a on little, that. That was a nice yeah, shot, too. A little inside. Make sure you can clear that five. See, now he can go forward on this and play the five in that left-hand corner. In that corner, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Okay, I thought he might get careless. He was letting the stroke out a little bit, you know? Yeah. Now with the angle, he's going to go one rail up. Yeah. I want that layout forever. Oh, yeah. Roll this cue ball up from here, eight in the side, nine, and he is out. Keep an angle. Oh, he's got it. Yeah, he's got it. Just gonna... wow. What are you doing surprised there, sir? he did that. Well, he's... You know what? It looks harder than what it is from here. Yes. But that little table is real close to your work. And Clint is on there. So it is four to two. Got a lot of talent here. A lot of these guys are... Uh, very, very good pool players, and they're playing on seven-footers, and we're going to have a long day ahead of us with this type of a field. Oh, yeah. Two-time 
player of the decade. Johnny Arts is in the room. Yes, he is. I was just talking to him outside when I went to stretch my back. Okay. Got BJ breaking here. They are just nailing that wing ball every time. Yeah, yeah. Two, that two go by the four? No. Ooh, okay, we've got a little safety battle here, maybe. Yeah, well, this one isn't an easy shot anyway, so. Right. He sends this one. He sends this cue ball down to the under the nine here. He'll be in good shape. Yeah. That's almost a gimme. Look at it. He's got four balls to hide behind down here. Yeah, as long as he doesn't kick into that three ball. <laughs> Yeah, he should be good. Yeah, yeah. Oh, look at that. Oh. He tried to hold it for the five. Boy, that was a – well, hopefully that – you know, if that two doesn't go by, he's got a good safety on it. Yes. He just lock it right on top of that four yep. ball. So he did real bad there. I thought he would send that cue down and make, give him the distance. But then there is no distance on these seven-foot right, tables. Right, seven-foot table, you don't have much distance. <laughs> it looks like distance from here. Yeah. We used to say, "Polly grip him to that four ball." Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, he played the four. He played the carom and hung it up. He's gonna pay for that. Yes. He's gonna lock him up here on that three, maybe. Polly grip him, like you said. Yeah. <laughs> That's the first I heard of that one. <laughs> A little tough to hold this ball and freeze up on that three. I think. Yeah, you got the angle going the wrong way. Yeah, you might bump that three too much. Oh, okay, he went that way. That was a smart move. Yes. Now, the three ball is still a little messy here. You know, it's only got one one pocket, two, two. pockets. Once, yep. the, once two. the two's gone, yeah. Yep. Oh, no, he's got three pockets. But it's still a little funny. So where do you go here? You play the two rail? Two right. Rail. Oh, yeah. That's exactly what I was thinking, the way he's looking at it now. It looks good. Yes, it Very is. Very nice shot. Oh, it's, a little, uh, hard, a little harder. He might have got that. <laughs> yeah. And now, see that three ball is going to come into play here now. Yeah. You know, a real first year coming under the five. Well, this is ugly. Yeah. Maybe get all the way down. Maybe the three six combo. He could end up with a three in the top hand corner on yeah. the left. I think he's going to try and get under the six and play the three in the side. But I don't know. Oh, maybe it goes by. Yeah. We couldn't tell from here. And that's what I was talking to you about before. It's difficult right. to see just right. from the TV the exact angle. Yeah. It he must go because yeah, he wouldn't have played it like that. Exactly. Yeah. That got away from him a little bit. Oh, that's the four. I, th I swear I thought it was the eight. I really thought it was the eight. That's why I thought it got away. When I said it got away from he didn't hold it for the five. The colors got me with the screen here. Left himself some work here. Yeah, he got a little shorter than he wanted, but he'll still be fine. Played a six ball. Come on, he might come under everything nice. Yeah, come right around everything. Played a seven in the corner. It's all speed, and he hit it perfect. And five two. Clint just five conceded. Two, I, think. I think it's five to two, correct? No, it should be three. Five three. I believe it's three. Oh, okay. I, I don't. Yeah. As you can tell, because if you look under the rail, they're marking it with coins. Oh, they have coins also, right? Well, he although he didn't he move didn't the coin it, up. He didn't move it up. Scratch. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, the seven goes. Tough three ball here. It's got the angle to look at this. This could be a great shot. He just has to miss that four. 
Look at this. Oh. Best thing you could have done was miss that ball. Yep. That was the best move you could have done. Ticket number one three one one five zero. One three one one five zero. Nice cue, I believe. Right? Oh yeah. Nice cue. Dan, Dan does nice work. I first met Dan about, I guess about fifteen years ago. He got in the World Straight Pool in Clifton, New Jersey, mm -hmm. and uh, he played the best intentional safe I ever seen. See where the five is on this table? Yes. He had to put the cue ball there and go around three rails to put it there without selling out because you sell out a straight ball and they're 100 and out. It's over. He had to put the ball there and go three rails to do it and take an intentional to do it. And he got there. I was amazed. I keep reminding him about that, you know. Clint just played a beautiful shot. Went rail first, made the two, and broke out the three, four. These guys are playing like they're under no pressure at all. Yeah. Right? They're very relaxed. Yep. Is this their home rooms, these guys? Are they from this area? They're yeah. from this area. I don't know if this is necessarily their home room, but they definitely both play here. I see Clint uh, often at my home room. Uh -huh. This can get a little tricky because the nine ball is going to come into play here, possibly, depending on how he hits it. Yeah, sure did. This is a little bit uglier now, this combination. Yeah. You, you, you know what? you got to hit it and send the cue ball back up table. Yeah, well, he definitely didn't want that. He wanted the uh -huh. nine ball to stay closer on that short rail. And either shorter or longer, one or the other. And he made a beautiful combination. Sure did, yeah. See, that's what I said. No pressure there. I, well, some guys would have walked around looking at scratching the head. Yeah. But then, you know, you're looking at it on the screen like it's a nine foot. And it's a little different when you're looking at that skittle pool table over there. Yeah. So the score is five for BJ and four for Clint. It ain't over. And BJ is coming to the table for the break. That's kind of fortunate. At getting the break at five games. Because now the guy's got to sweat you going on the hill. You know, and, and, you know on this little table, he might, he's probably a favorite to break and run. Right? You're probably pretty much a favorite. A guy to his speed. And, and, and it'll put him on the hill. So Clint's going to have some pressure right there. Watch this eight ball. Right oh, in that look pocket. how he hit it. Yep. Look at the one ball. Oh, boy. The six has a pocket or two. Yeah. And the, uh, oh, what's that down here? On the, the eight, bottom, eight, on the nine? short rail? The eight, nine, or the four? No, four, nine. The four, nine, yeah. You know, he could, uh, he's going to get good with the two in the side to get real good on the three. You know, see the angle to, from the one to the two? Yeah. And he'll have that two in the side, so he'll get a good angle on the uh, three ball. Maybe he can get a good enough angle to run into that. Yeah, that's, I think that's what he was looking at. Yeah. And, you know, he's also got to contend with that five because oh, he doesn't want to. I hold. thought he could draw back on that a little and hold it. He got the worst of it. Yep. Still, now it's uglier. Well, still makeable. I think he's just going to pull it out and play that three in that bottom right-hand corner. Oh, he's just going to hold it and stay above the seven here. Yep. Oh, that's better yet. You know, that worked out for him. He's going to yeah. fall on the four now perfect. Exactly. Or, or run into it anyway. But he's got to worry about the five blocking him. So he's got to give this some speed, I think. Correct. Well, that's what I was saying before. He's yeah. got to be careful with that five. Yeah. He doesn't want to tie up the four five yeah. now. I thought he'd be on the other side. Now, yeah. now the nine got him. He may have an edge of it, and he better hope he does. Yeah, I think he does. I think he can cut it in the side. Again, difficult to see from here. Yeah, and almost a two-way oh, shot. Oh, he's trying to spin around it? Yes. So. I'd back kick it, I think. Oh, table two. Asensio's done. Uh, table two. So he Asensio, I guess, is finished with his match. 
we don't know what the score was, but we've been concentrating on this. Well, even on the loss side, he is still in the contention to win the whole thing. He's scary. You wouldn't bet he's on the loss side from here. Look at this. He's going to mess around his ball or jump it. He's jumping it. For the bank? I guess for the bank. The hell of an effort. He might get lucky here. <laughs> Should be. Well, he's got an edge also. Yeah. You know, he's table two, a TV table, Josh Newman and Dean Paul. Table number two, let's race to seven. Oh, he, oh boy. Little, oh, oh, he's got it. Oh, my God. Look at that. Boy, that was a scary play. Yeah. I know he had the bank, but that was a scary play. Yeah. Especially that pocket speed he did there. Yeah. Well, first. He had to. He didn't gonna, have the full ball. Uh, he came down too far. This is a rough billiard off the seven into the side, you know. Yes. That's tough. It, I, from here, it doesn't look like the tangent line goes into that side pocket. You know, he could send that six right off the seven up to the Brunswick yep. and leave it there. Send it down. Yeah, that's what he's looking at. Just hit a little thin, hit the seven a little bit, yep. and come back down by the nine. Leave the cue ball on one side, the six on the other. Yeah, yeah just take your time on this because you don't want this guy going on the hill on you. Yeah, I think he's looking at that point to try and get the six to hit the rail and then get maybe get behind the nine. Yeah, that was the shot. Uh, the cue ball, not the six, sorry. Wow, look at that. He wound up making the yeah. seven. Now he's got to make another one. Or boy. Still a very makeable shot. Remember, yeah. it's a seven-footer, not a nine. Even on a nine-footer, it's makeable. But and He just has to make it, and he's going to fall on the nine naturally. Yes, natural position. As long as he doesn't get under that nine, he's good. Yeah. And I would think he'd let the stroke out a little bit and go back and forth just in case. He, he could cut this, come right back to where he is, right? You like that? I wouldn't risk it because I don't want to get caught under the nine. I would cut that six in that top left corner and go back and forth would and let really? the cue ball come back up because. Oh, absolutely. Yes, yes, yes. He's going to try to cut that in the upper left-hand corner. Yes. Yeah, we're talking about the cue ball. Oh, wow. Whoa. What the heck? Uh, too I hard. He, I thought he was going the way. A little too hard. Oh, no, that's. Not bad speed. I thought he was going to play the ball. He I did play too. the semi safe. They're getting a little more careful. Yeah. You know, later in the rack, later in the game. And it's getting a little closer. Yeah. He knows he's in it. It was a one game spread. I'd put this right back up on the Brunswick and let him see it. The diamond, rather. He can't call it the Brunswick here. All right? Yes. The middle diamond and the short rail up top, folks. He's cutting the ball. Joe, let me ask you a question. Yes. Did you get any words on yet? He's cutting the ball here. Okay. Oh, yeah. Right. Joe, if you can use He's your good best backhand. Wow, nice. Thank you. If you can use your best backhand, you got dinner, okay? <laughs> you bank the long rail, you might as well bank the short rail, right? Yeah. Oh, cut, he cut it. it in. Back nice. cut it. Very nice shot. Nice shot. And this puts him on the hill. He caught a he caught a a break on getting the break right here. Oh yeah. You don't want to be in the chair right here with the guy on the hill. Nope. So BJ Ussery is on the hill. Clint Clark, who is coming to the table, has four. going to have to go with some inside to get to that two or, or outside to come around that three. He might even play this two nine. I don't know. He's going to either get, yeah, he's oh, playing he for the wow. two. Wow, he did yeah. miss that three. That was a nice yeah. shot. It's tough to miss that three. That's why I thought he might go the other way and just... Oh, he got pretty good on this two. He got perfect he's on He's going to draw this up. Look at that. See how easy it is? Yeah. <laughs> That's the four up there? Yes. Yes, thanks. Yeah, I see the eight now. Now I see the color difference. It ain't my fault, folks. I'm old. 
He held that pretty good, considering. I thought he was going to lose that cue ball a little bit right there. Yeah, I thought he would draw it back a little more. Something. But. Yeah. Or go forward enough. Oh, no. Well, he's got some work now. Well, uh, he makes this. He's got a natural angle for position on the six. Play it three rails. It doesn't look like he's doing that. Yeah, that is what he tried to do. Oh, look at the five. Wow. Oh, he caught the best of that. Wow. Well, you can let the stroke out here and bank it. You got to hit a little firm here. You see a safety here? What do you see? That's the bank, what he's looking at right there. That's a tough cut, ain't it? Yeah. Double hit, maybe? No, maybe not. No. But it's a tough bank, no doubt. Although on the little table, it looks more tempting, I guess. Well, on a gold crown, it might be more tempting. On a diamond with the cuts. We got me the seven foot. You, know, you got to hit. The yeah. seven foot. Yeah. And these pockets were a little bit bigger than I expected when I got here. These pockets earlier. I had a good time uh, playing on them. Do all the seven foot diamonds cut the same? Yes. Even like at the expo? At the no, I don't mean here. I mean at all the seven foot diamonds, are they all cut the same? From the factory, I mean. From the factory, they oh. See, I don't know, like a, a nine foot's are pro cut and, and regular cut, whatever they do. So I know you looked away. He yeah, tried what I'm you sorry. said and went oh, for that did? bank, but he hit it 100 miles an hour. and it Went five reels? Yeah, pretty much. But he wound up getting. He caught a break. Yeah, but you know he's going to play a safe here. Yeah. Oh, he didn't get it at? Nope. He should have took his time a little bit on that safety. That was nice of Dan uh, donating those cues. That was a real class move. Dan is a gentleman. Oh, yeah. Dan, you hide your cues, folks. And I don't mean to speak over uh, one of my sponsors, Mike Lambros, but uh, I know Dan a lot of you is a good man. Yes. Another New Yorker. But Rochester, yeah. He's that's from he's from game. upstate yeah. like Al, so that's it kinda not, doesn't really count, you know. That's a game. Game set match, folks. Seven four. And BJ Ussery advances. Um, maybe Al could switch over to the next table now to see if it's going. <laughs> Mikey fingers, you're cracking me up, brother. What's he doing? <laughs> uh, Mikey Fingers said that guy Ed in the booth is horrible. Kill him. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Mikey. <laughs> there it is, folks. Like Eddie said, 7-4. Uh, BJ moves ahead as uh, Clint moves over to the B side. We're going to switch tables over uh, to the 